boys and girls, Miss Dombrowski here. Welcome to week seven of online learning in our online art room. This week, we're going to be doing a little bit of art history and learning about some artists from the past. This week's artist is Henri Rousseau. Um, you should have participated and done the Ed Puzzle that was posted as well, which is like an interactive video that has questions uh, for you to answer along the way. So now you are tasked with going out and collecting some different plants or flowers um, that are maybe around your home, maybe outside of your home. Um, if you can't find any inside or outside of your house, just look up pictures um, or use your imagination and create them on your own. I don't ever want you guys to be stuck um, without having the supplies. Um, supplies for this is very simple. All you will need is something to draw on. It could be paper, it could be notebook paper. Um, even if you have a whiteboard and you wanna just draw something on there and then you can take a picture of it and then you can erase it. And all you're gonna be using is either just a pencil um, or any type of black marker or even a black pen. Um, in this video, you will see me using one of my favorite little cat pens. I love this one. Um, so what you're going to do, like I said, is you're going to go outside and collect different flowers and things like that, even fake flowers. We had some of these in our house. Um, I had some lavender sprigs in the house as well. Uh, we had some flowers from a bouquet that was sent to us like this. So you are going to be using those and you are going to be creating a plant study where you draw out um, the leaves and the different details that you see in them. So check out this next video for that. So you're going to pick whatever plant that you find or even pictures of plants around your house. This is a sprig of lavender and we're just going to look at the basic lines that you see in them and the shapes and that's what we're going to draw on our paper. Now I have a variety of different pencils or pens. Um, we're just gonna do this project in black and white. Um, so I'm gonna use some of my favorite pens. This one's a little cat pen, so cute. And you're going to look at your piece of greenery or your leaf, and you're gonna to try to copy what you see in it. So obviously I see nice long skinny lines. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of my paper, drawing a nice long skinny line. There's a couple others that come off of it, just like that. And then at the top, there's those little lavender buds, and I'm just gonna draw those. It does not have to look exactly like it. You're trying your best to make it look as similar, but you could add your own twist if you'd like. So you're gonna take your other plants and do the same thing with this. Um, if you wanna imagine and create your own, you can as well. Um, and I'm going to put on the time lapse now so you guys can see this fast forwarded. All right guys, so you should have created your amazing plant study by the artist Henri Rousseau. Um, feel free to research more of his pictures. And like we said, he always loves to hide those little tigers um, or lions in there. So feel free to hide um, an animal inside of your plant study. I'll try to find it when I'm looking at your work. Please don't forget to take a photo of your artwork and send it to me. You could attach it to your Google Classroom um, or you can send it through Dojo or even an email. Um, just keep it simple. Just snap a photo on a phone or an iPad um, and just send it my way so I can see that you did it and give you credit for your work. I cannot wait to see your plant studies and I hope you all have a great week.